What's going on, guys? Welcome, Rabbit here. And if you guys do follow me on Twitter, you may know by now that I had access to a 120 terahash Casper mining farm that is 10 KS5L. So I'm going to run through that right here in this video. I also want to showcase how you can get some cheap ASICs for yourselves in terms of Ice River ASICs. That is the KS5L and the KS5M. They are cheaper than what you'll even see on Ice River. So this is going to be pretty insane, guys. I'm pretty excited. Let's check it out. So here we are. This does end in the morning. I did get these Caspa ASICs, 120 terahash worth for two days, mining to my own wallet. And here's a screenshot at the 24 hour mark. This did make about 1,755 Caspa. So depending on the price of Caspa at the moment, it has been dipping. You can calculate that for yourself to see how much that is. So right now you can currently see that we're sitting at a pending balance of 122 Caspa. So far it has paid off. 2177 caspa and here you can see from lead miner 010 all the worker name numbers here all the different caspa a6 that are on here they are all ks5ls pointing to home pool because with ice river hosting they actually have a pool reduction of an extra 10 percent or something all right, so before we look at the hosting side of things and, you know, the cheaper power and everything, let's take a look at the minor prices and where you can get your miners from cheap because I'm sure that's all a lot of you guys may care about depending on your power price. Coming into Ice River here, and we can see they are now sold out. The KS5L is sitting at $4,799, so $4,800. And the KS5M is sitting at $7,499 or $7,500. Now, if we come into Lead Miner right here, these guys are 100% legit. I am vouching for them. Look at the price difference. For the KS5L Miner, they're only $4,360, so a couple hundred dollars cheaper than even Ice River. And here you can see it's a little more expensive for if you want the hosting as well it's still a hundred dollars cheaper than ice river themselves for four thousand six hundred and ninety nine now i have two discount codes down in the description for these guys here and here you can see the ks5l so code rabid miner is actually to directly get the miner no hosting you're shipping it to your house or maybe you're shipping it to your friend or someone else that has super cheap power or something this is where you would buy the cheapest miner here and use code rabid miner that'll also grant you fifty dollars off your order so even a bigger discount coming down to four thousand three hundred and ten dollars and code rabid mining will actually grant you one percent off your order for hosting purchases here which is still a hundred dollars cheaper in ice river so make sure you use the proper codes both of them with which they're for hosting and non-hosting will be in the description or that will not apply for you so proper codes does matter here now i know what you're thinking how can they possibly be cheaper than ice river and here's how it is so why are your prices lower than ice river so we are the official distributor of ice river you can get a discount for placing an order through us there is no limit to the number of machines that can be hosted that's the other thing ice river only limits all its customers to 10 to 20 so if you're a millionaire or a bazillionaire you could order all of them if you want you could order 100 units 500 units a thousand units it doesn't matter they don't hold limits if you want to buy them all you can buy them all that's pretty insane to think about but the possibility is is there now if that's someone like you with deep pockets or not but coming into this the reason why they are the official distributor and everything is think of a uh, jazz miner and jingle mining jazz miner is pretty expensive to buy directly from them but still cheaper in a lot of places but jingle mining is one of the cheapest to buy the x44s the x16 well the x44 isn't released yet but all the jazz miners and stuff there and that's what you do through jingle mining this is the same thing that lead miner does have with ice rivers they are the official official distributor of it so they get the lower prices because they run high volumes and so on so they get that discount in there all right so here is our dashboard now for hosting if you choose the hosting option and i really think i'm probably going to do this because i'm sitting at about 11 to 12 cent per kilowatt hour usd and this is only eight cents so it's going to save you quite a bit of money especially people that are in you know europe and stuff it's sitting at 20 cents upwards to 40 cents this is going to save you a crap ton you can actually mine with decent profits there so there is a process and it goes like this customers place an order from lead miner with they will then unify the order to 
to Ice River, which then the machine setup will transfer the order to their Ice River account. So you got to make sure you do have an account with Ice River. And then they track the whole order. You can go into your Ice River dashboard and everything and track out pretty much like you did purchase from Ice River themselves. And then you can set up your own address as well for the prepayments of electricity in the back end. And then your orders pretty much go online instantly. Well, it's probably not super instantly, but it will take maybe a couple hours or a day. And I don't think that long. I don't 100% know how long it'll take to really get up and running, but it'll happen pretty fast, way faster than if you're even getting the equipment shipped to your house because then you got to wait a week or two. All right, so let's have a look at the dashboard for Ice River Hosting. So you can see right now how many miners you have online. In this case, there's 10. 10 of them are hashing normally. If one goes down or you have a bad board or it's acting all weird and stuff, it'll go into the abnormal hash rate category. Right now, it's zero because they're all working good. Here is how much power we do have, or I guess money, in our power account to cover the power cost, 653. And that should last for about 38 days. So that does work out to be about eight cent power here. Now coming in to set up our workers and stuff, we're gonna go into configuration. And this is like setting up a flight sheet in HiveOS. So you would add a template. To add a template, now you would set up what pool you wanna to mine to, your wallet address, password if you want, and so on. I'm just gonna bring it back a little bit here. And then you can see the two templates that are set up. One, Rabbit Mining. The other one here is Lead Miner, going between the address and stuff. So if I actually go into my miner here, and click on miner. Once you set up those templates, now you can magically move your rigs out of blink of an eye, whether it's your entire farm like so, or maybe you just want to try a couple rigs on a different coin, Bugna, Cedra coin, or whatever. Then you would just come into here and select your mining template. Click on that, select which one ever you have set up. Make sure you name it, you know, Caspa pool this or Bugna that or whatever. Then you'd hit the confirm and it'll just shoot them right to the moon that fast. Just easily to manage your farm at the blink of an eye. Pretty much, I like to match this up with, say, Hive West because it's pretty much the same mentality here on moving your rigs over. So you can do it extremely fast here. Now, when you are moving rigs around, you will then begin to start to see that hash rate appear at the pool pretty much instant. Because when you first set up an ASIC or turn it on, you know, power it up and stuff, it does take, you know, a good five minutes or so to run through the memory checks and chip checks and fan checks and all that. That's why there is that delay when you first turn it up. But once they are running, and it's the same thing for any ASIC out there, is once they're actually finally running, you just swap over to a different coin or a different pool or something. It's already done all those checks. It happened at the pre boot up. So then you can just get instant hash rate right away. So that's kind of why you would see that happen. So coming back into the miner here, and this does use about 3,400 watts, 3,350 is what mine is using at my house here. But we can see the daily electricity cost per miner. It is about $6.53. And this is currently making around $32, $33 a day. So that easily will cover that power cost here. And then coming into the electricity billing here, we can go to our electricity billing account. You can see all your previous payments and non-payments and stuff you can see your cost recharge so this is the top it off you're gonna have to keep topping it off once your account does hit zero your miners will get shut off here because you didn't cover your power bill but you got some pretty easy setups so you can just click on some of these if you want this is about the average for one month i believe and you can pay with caspa and other coin market coins litecoin bitcoin i believe as well as usdt type of transactions now if there's ever an issue with your miner here you can just click down on repair ticket here and create your repair ticket it's pretty fast and simple and here are your repair charges for certain things so you can see if you need a fan replacement because one went down or something that will cost $15 they do not do any PSU repair services if it has a new data cable within it usually that's very rare that those go down but it does happen that's $5 per cable interface board power cable that's another $5 if you need a new control board because that one got hooped or something 50 bucks and if a hash board blows $150 now that's if you do decide to actually get them fixed some people run them with one less hash board and so on until they can maybe find a cheaper one for themselves. And when it comes to anything of these, uh, you can get these shipped to your house whenever you want. So if you decide to not get hosted anymore and you want the miner at your house in your own hands or something from hosting, you can just put in a ticket and you know request the thing to be shipped out to you and then you can get your physical miner in your own hands. So that about wraps this up. It was pretty sweet to test out 120 terahash worth of Caspa hash rate. And this is insane. I want to get a farm this big or larger. I'm starting to think about, I know buy the coin, do this, but guys, I am a crypto miner and I'm thinking about picking up a couple more and actually hosting them here at only eight cent power. Now, 
one thing I did realize on, you know, we always say, oh, I wish my farm was that big and so on. Once you get to these type of levels, if you cannot, like, I don't really expect most people to be able to cover this power out of pocket. You're definitely probably going to have to sell your crypto monthly to cover these power bills. And the reason why is just look at this power bill. So if we come in and we're paying $6.53 a day per rig, there's 10 rigs here. That is $65.30 per day you add that up between 30 days so around one month that is one thousand nine hundred and fifty nine dollars that you'd have to cover out of your pocket that's pretty insane to think about here so you are gonna have to cover i know i definitely would if i got to this type of level or larger i'd be having two to five thousand dollar power bills i would be selling caspa daily to cover that but you're still making so much more over that because this is only eight cent power so this is kind of a direction i am really thinking about going let me know down in the comments comment section if you think i should grab a couple of these miners throw them onto here and go long term see how well the service does i do want to point out though uh yesterday one rig did go down for about five hours i tried to figure out what the issue was and lead miner said that ice river didn't let them know what it was so i did have a miner go down i just contacted them and they had it up and running as soon as they did get my message you know the time difference between here in china and wherever it is located in north america to there once they did see it you know is instantly pretty much back online so the sport was pretty fast though to get that out there but i just do want to mention for some reason one rig did go down all right, guys, so that pretty much does wrap up this video for sure this time. Are you bullish on Caspa? We know we have these lifetime generation things. You know, most of us, we wish we were around, you know, 18, 20 years old, maybe younger, maybe a bit older when Bitcoin first came out and it was under one cent. Could Caspa be the next Bitcoin like people are talking about? And is this the next generation type of coin to really make them gains where Caspa mining could be massive moving into the future more. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on Caspa, on Ice River, on leadminer.com for them cheapest miners. And remember, guys, use the proper code for the proper miner or it's not going to work for you. I will see you on the next one. Rabid out.